Okay, so today I'm going to install this Kodi key keyless entry system. This is the satin chrome version. It comes with instruction. You've got your template over here. This is your primary door. This is your secondary door because the, it has the screw holes here. We have two door seals. We have the, the strike plate and, and four screws. These two are the mounting posts and the latch support post. We have a card with the already pre-key um, code there. These are the mounting screws. We have different three different lengths. This is a, your standard. We have uh, one spindle and spring, and it's cuttable with the two notches there. And this is all the latch, and you have two options. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is code the key. Now, uh, this one came pre-done with the one, two, six, seven Y. And how you know that is on, um, you take your little screwdriver here and you'll see that the red, when the red is pointing at the number, it means it's turned on. If the red is pointing away from the number, it's turned off. So one is turned on, two is turned on, three is shut off. It's pointing away from the number, pointing towards the middle. Eight over here is pointing away from the number, eight, so it's turned off. So this one's uh, preset, so I'm just gonna clear this with the clear button C. Now, so once I push, one, two, six, seven, Y, I should be able to turn the crank. Now, if I just pushed two numbers, it's not gonna work. Clear, and make sure Sometimes it can get stuck, and if something's stuck, it won't turn. So clear that, and then as you can see on this, one, two, six, seven, Y. Okay, and then it'll turn the crank, and it should release. Now this one didn't didn't quite release. So now if I wanted to change the code for any reason. Like say I wanted to turn the Y off, so then it's just one, two, six, seven. Um, you can just turn that red to the thing with the little here. One, two, six, seven. And look at that. Doesn't even matter how I push the buttons. As long as that, that combo is done, it'll turn the to turn the crank. So and then again, so if the, it's on the door, you're gonna, if you wanna change the lock, you're gonna have to, if you wanna change the number, you have to take it off the door to um, change the code. Now the other cool thing about this is that um, you can have uh, one code for the primary lock on the, on the door on the outside, one code for the, for the secondary, and you don't, you can have them both on this side. Or you don't ha even have to have a code, but I would recommend doing um, doing the same code for each one. Now this one I turned off all all the numbers, so they're all pointing away from the from the letters or the number, so that when I turn the crank, it's open. If I do push a number, it's not allowed, but if I clear it, it's done. Okay. Okay, so the next step that we're gonna do, I've already coded the the locks. I've checked everything, make sure that all my all my pieces are here. Now we want to put it on the door. So today I'm gonna to be demonstrating a left hung door. Now your standard door will come with pre-drill holes and a set for the set for the latch. Um, if you don't have that, then you're gonna to need to put that in. And you can use the template as you see here. What you want to do is you're going to put it right here on the on the door. You're going to fold along this line and line up the center of the hole or the center of the latch with this right there. And then you're going to drill. The standard hole should cover this. All you're going to need to drill is this eight millimeter hole. Now this you can use either five sixteen inch or three eight inch, and that should work as well. Uh, but this is an eight millimeter hole. That's what it calls for. Um, so 
this door, uh, I've set it on the, le uh, it's the left hung door and it's going to open out like this and close like this. So your latch plate should, should be like this. Okay. And I've already installed that. So that's ready to go. As you can see that if you look in here, there's a little notch here and this is a latch post. Okay. Next thing you do is you put on the mounting screws. Now, um, the screws, this is, this standard door is about one and three quarter. One, it is one and three quarters. And that's your standard door. Some doors are a little bit larger. Some doors can go up to about two and one eighth of an inch. But, um, and this is the spindle that comes with the, the set. But I had to, two sets here I'm an, and, I, and I cut one using um, a pliers. I bent it back and forth um, and then cut that off. This is the standard length here. And then you, if, it's short, if you need it shorter than that as well, you can cut it there using a hacksaw or saw if you have. Um, but that's what I'm using today. Now, what you need to do is put the the post in here because as you can see there's three screws the middle screw is your standard screw but it doesn't fit in here none of these screws will fit in here unless you put in this mounting post okay this here the screw and this 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 is the latch post keeps the latch steady inside the door and that corresponds with you can put it on this side or this side and that corresponds with the hole that is on the latch. So obviously if it's turned around, you're gonna flip that around, okay? So I'm gonna use my spindle. And this, when I put it in, I want it to go in. If I want the door to open like this to the left, if I wanna turn it to the left to have the latch go towards the hinge, I'm gonna, I'm gonna position like this, okay? So spindle goes in like this. I have my latch and my posts are in. Put this in like this. And if you want the plate on here, I'll put that the plate just to show, just to demonstrate what that does. So this is gonna this is gonna match up in here. Okay, now there's one more screw that goes in here that for the other post. I'm not going to put that on just for demonstration. So as you can see now my latch is secure, have everything in place. And this one, if you remember, I did not have any code on it. And the door will open this way, but it doesn't open like that. So no code on there and it opens towards the latch. Now this is the primary. This is the primary here. I'm gonna put in the code one, two, six, seven. And it opens, now it's locked. If you wanna clear it, if you push some other number, it's not gonna work. Clear, make sure everything's clear. One, two, six, seven. If I go this way, it doesn't work. One, two, six, seven turn towards the hinge and it'll open. And if you, depending on how you position, how you position the um, spindle in the latch, that's, that's how it's gonna change the direction. So you could open it this way if you wanted to. You just have to change the spindle direction. And uh, that should be everything and it's pretty simple. Okay.